What's up guys, Alfredo here with Mike Mejia, producer on Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. How's Mike, we're gonna take a look at the Creator class. Yes. I'm excited. Yeah, this um, is awesome. We've, uh, man, this is a lot of new things to talk about, so let's just dive right in. Right, so we've uh, completely redesigned how the Creator class system works in Advanced Warfare. Mm -hmm. We are inspired by what Black Ops 2 and Treyarch introduced uh, within Black Ops 2, which was the Pick 10 system. It's a fan favorite, so we brought that back and we've actually expanded upon it. And uh, one of the first things that you'll notice is we've actually introduced score streaks into the pick system. Okay. So now you can actually select up to 13 uh, slots within your uh, pick 10 system here in your creative class. Mm -hmm. and the first thing you'll notice here is the score streaks. You can now add up to four score streaks by the use of a wild card. Awesome. There's my wild card. I can pick another score streak here, like the remote turret. Right. Or, for the first time ever, I can actually go with no score streaks and, and then, then use those points for you know other things like I can load up on attachments. Right. I can load up on uh, you know more perks if I'd like to add more perks. I like that. I'm not a score streak guy. Yeah. Neat. You know some <laughs> some people are not. Some people are like you know I just want to get kills. I want to mm -hmm. go in there. Um, but you know if sometimes you want to just go in with maybe maybe one score streak. You right. now have the flexibility to do that. And that's kind of why we designed it this way. We wanted players to have more flexibility with their selections and how they can customize their loadouts. Right. There's so, even a great amount of depth in score streaks now, right? Yeah, exactly. And that's a that's a that's a good uh, good point to raise. So, here's here's kind of a, a loadout here. We're gonna pick with one score streak because you know um, I'm only gonna load out with this one score streak on right. this one. Um, I know that I'm gonna you know get pretty close to getting uh, 600 uh, score to get mm -hmm. this score streak. Once I select that, now I can further customize this. Um, we introduced this new element called customizable score streak. With the press of a button, I can go into this module right. uh, menu and I can ah. actually select different modules that will change the behavior and give the score streak even more functionality. Right. Now, that comes with an added cost though. So, for example, you know, here's a, a rippable module. If I add this to my score streak, the points has now got raised to 700. Right, so, mm -hmm. If I add more functionality to it, like the rocket turrets, that adds more costs, and we could we could we could add all of those if we wanted to, right? Well, you right now we're actually you know you can only in this, in this part of demo you, we can add three, mm -hmm. um, and the reason why we're doing that is because we're also we're always paying attention to balance. So while we're giving players customization, awesome. we also want to strike you know that right. balance and make sure that everything's balanced because if it's not balanced, it's not competitive, and then Makes sense. obviously you know it, it's not fun if it's not competitive, right? So. Something I noticed is that it doesn't count towards my pick thir thirteen when I add those on. Yeah, there. which is really cool. So with the flexibility of the pick ten or the pick thirteen system, you can now go in here and cu customize your score streaks, and you don't really have to worry about that counting against your your uh, your uh, slots. I like that. And so we've got a bunch of perks, a bunch of new perks. Yeah, new perks. So we have uh, you know we have some fan favorites returning. Let me take some of these off and go in here. So we have like lightweight, we have uh, low profile, right. you know, and flag jack well, is another stuff example. That we're, you know, we're, the veterans are used to. Yeah, exactly. But we want to introduce some new perks that were kind of centered around the EXO. So here's a great example. It's called the overcharged EXO perk, and okay. this essentially extends your EXO ability battery. Um, every ability in the game um, that is player selected will have a battery, and you know that has a certain amount of lifespan on it, right? But if you select this one, it will actually extend that battery lifetime. Okay. So, so if I want to hover longer, or, yeah, or you know. if you wanted to cloak just a little bit longer, you would okay. select this overcharge perk. Um, we got other perks like brand new perks like the gun hole perk. Mm -hmm. This allows you to fire while you're sprinting and sliding. It's pretty awesome, actually. Ooh. If you're if you're a guy that's like really uh, running gun style, right, it's right. a great perk to load out with. Shotgun yeah. guy. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Um, then we actually have another interesting perk that's you know part of the EXO system too is the blast suppressor. So as you've you know, seen by now, all the EXO movement in the game mm -hmm. um, is pretty dynamic. You can boost jump, you can boost dodge, you can do a lot of interesting things to combo those things up. You can boost slide as well. Um, but every time you use one of that, uh, it'll show up on the mini map. You know, it'll show your location. So if you kind of wanted to you know suppress that a little bit, you can go in with this uh, perk called the blast suppressor. And it will cause you basically right. to not show up on the player's mini maps when yeah, you're I think using that's those. That's gonna be a favorite because I see everyone just boosting around. I don't think anyone really no notices yet that you know you show up on radar. Yeah. I actually, you know, myself, um, if I know that I'm gonna be moving around a lot, um, right. you know, I'll either load up with this one, but it mm -hmm. comes at a cost, right? I'm, I'm picking one slot for that. But you know, and in this case, I would want a UAV instead, so I can go in here and pick a UAV and Got it. maybe get something else, like okay. you know, an additional. Uh, you know, perk up here, for example, right? Right. So. And so, 
we've been introduced to the exosuit, and now let's kind of dive into the exo abilities real quick. Yeah, so we've completely retooled the uh, lethal and tactical deployment in the game. Uh, right now, we have the exo ability here selected. It's called the exo shield. That is now, um, I can go in here and can select any one of these exo abilities. And these are what I mean by being battery powered. These right. are player selected abilities that, that augment your exo. Um, so for example, when I can select this one and I can hover in place for a short duration, okay. or I can select this one here and actually cloak, cloak. for you know short duration. Um, and you know, you still have your your lethal and your tacticals. That's part of the exo launcher as you right. can see here. I select part of your pick thirteen. Yeah, part of my pick thirteen and I can now everything's mixed in here. I can select my smoke from here, I can select my EMP, my tacticals, or uh, my lethals like frag. Uh, we also have some new ones like the spike drone. Um, new uh, new tactical called the threat grenade that actually shows enemies through walls. Right. Um, so it's pretty cool. And, and here's another one called the tracking drone that actually tracks enemy players and highlights them. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. So just real quick before we go ahead and, and wrap up, let's take. I just want to take a quick look at some elite, elite like firepower. Like yeah. Some elite weapons. So let me show you that real quick here. Um, we're gonna walk you through some of our new weapons that we have in the game. Obviously, we have. Uh, the base weapons here, right. like my Ball 27, so you'll still have your base uh, weapons as ARs. Yeah, standard but yeah, now, category. through supply drops, I've unlocked weapon loot. And through supply drops, I've received this super awesome uh, Ball 27 uh, Elite. And you can see that it has uh, damage stats, and it has different fire rates, and it has a completely right. different stat variation. So I'm going to select this guy. It's like variants. Yeah. Your I, favorite weapons. Exactly. This is one of my favorites. And right here, I can go in here, and I can still select all my different attachments for my weapons. So I actually like to roll up with this uh, autofocus sight. It's mm -hmm. in the game. It's pretty cool. Uh, uh, maybe even put a laser sight on it and a light. I actually like to go like this. Right. Um, and I, I also saw they automatically equip the wild exactly. card as soon as you pick that third slot. That's a nice little touch. Yeah, it's a nice little touch. We wanted to, you know, we know players that are usually are playing around with the creative class system that we want right. to give them another uh, flexibility with that, with that. So if I just, no longer do you have to go in here, select the wild right. card, and, go and then back. go all the way back. All you got to do is go over here, <laughs> select this things. auto wild card, it'll put it right in, and mm -hmm. I can just go in and, and, and pick what I want. So. So what's cool about this now is that now I can actually test this weapon out before I even jump into the game. Right. I, with the press of a button from a creative class, I can select and go into the virtual fire range, which is what you're seeing right now. I can now go in here and check out my cool weapon that I unlocked. I can try a different scenario in the virtual fire mm -hmm. range, check out how it works, check out the fire rate, check out everything about the weapon. I can even check out the attachment, like here's the autofocus sight. I can see how that functions. And it's a, it's a pretty cool and, place yeah. to actually check out all the new weapons and things like that. Seems like you just do this on the fly so that way you're not going in, ruining your KD, you're getting exactly. a good feel exactly. for the Exactly, and, and if you don't out. like something about the gun setup that you have in your loadout, just one button out, take something off, and go back in, one button. No load, this is all pre-match, pre-lobby, you're, you're good to go. Well, that's awesome, Mike. Thank you for showing us the new uh, and improved creative class system. No worries, thank you. Guys, for more things Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, you already know where to go. You're in the right place. IGN.